And you know what's interesting about that number is that uh, I remember when we did a million, we said, we just did a million. And the media said, oh, when are you going to do two million? I said, oh, soon, pretty soon. Then we do two million. And then they said, when are you going to do five million? In other words, it's sort of a setup because no matter what. And by the way, when we hit five million, when are we going to hit 10 million? It's a little bit of a trap. You know, it's called the media trap. It pertains to me. It doesn't pertain to other people, but it's what I've had to experience for five years. Do you have any indicates to you that it is safe? Well, I don't know. I heard the five million is totally unnecessary. Now, that doesn't mean we're not going to hit it pretty easily. But I, I, again, I think it's a media trap. I think the number, um, you know, I, I've just, all I know is this. President Moon of South Korea, because we've heard a lot of good things about South Korea, have good relationship. He called me to congratulate me on the testing. He said, your testing is the greatest in the world. How did this happen? I kept hearing about South Korea, South Korea. And he said, I want to just tell you that what you've done with testing is incredible. Okay? So our people should be congratulated. And what they'll do is, no matter what, if we test, as they say, 325 million people, they're going to say, when are you going to test them twice? Okay? So, you know, it's a trap. It's really a media trap, but, but that's okay. Look, we are better than anybody in the world on testing. We have tested more than anybody in the world, and we have the best tests in the world. And that's been all developed over the last couple of months because we started off with nothing. We had nothing. We had absolutely nothing. Uh, and that included ventilators, and that included, uh, I always say, the cupboards were bare. Uh, they were bare in the military, and they were bare medically in terms of pandemics or epidemics or whatever you want to call it. So uh, our people have done an incredible job. Yeah. Mr. President, uh, concerning WHO, do you think that China is playing a better game in terms of soft power? Say it again. Uh, do you think that China is playing a better game in terms of influence, soft power in the WHO? Well, they've been doing it for years, and they play the game. And I guess we've had people over the years that never really focused on that game. You know, who would think you'd have to play the game? Uh, and it's, to a large extent, public relations, you know, public relations or whatever. Uh, but China's not to be congratulated for what happened, just so you understand it. They're not to be congratulated for what took place. And WHO is essentially congratulating them And when they start doing that, we've got problems. And again, the United States pays almost 500 million, and they pay 38 million a year. 500 million versus 38 million a year. So there are lots of different people that we can give this to. You know, we can give this money to lots of different incredible groups. There are a lot of groups out there. It doesn't have to go to the WHO. We can give it to groups that are very worthy and get much more bang for your buck. But we're going to make a decision in the not too distant future. If I could, I'd just like to have John Bell finish up by uh, talking about the great success in Louisiana. And you worked with our two great senators, and they were Absolutely. Really